Hi, I'm Michael Albronda from Phil Jones Bass here in Uncle Studios in beautiful downtown Van Nuys, California. I'm here with the company's CEO and founder, Mr. Phil Jones. Hi. I'm also here with one of our top endorsees, Mr. Larry Kimpel. Thank you. We're here to talk a bit about our flagship model, the briefcase. What can we say? Uh, where did it all begin? What was the concept behind our most popular product that we, we make now, Phil? Well, you know, as you know, uh, the trend in, in everything in technology is like things get smaller and better. Mm -hmm. You know, like look at, look at smart smartphones, you know, how yeah. they so powerful. And uh, I just wanted to build something that would be um, super small, studio quality, could take on some small gigs and uh, work with a variety of instruments, you know, from like upright bass, you know, uh, even with a, a precision bass with flats on it sounds really, really gorgeous, you know. And um, I, when I was carrying it, I said, you know, it feels like a briefcase, you know, so we, we called it a briefcase. <laughs> a briefcase. So yeah, because it's like, it was like, you know, the same kind of shape and Good with thing the depth. you weren't carrying a bowling ball at the time. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so it, 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 it coined the name briefcase. It was originally called Baseman's Briefcase, but I thought maybe, you know, we don't want to use that word. It's used by somebody else, you know. And so we just called it the briefcase. And uh, as a result, that, that was uh, our, one of our best-selling products. It's sold maybe 7,000 now, you know. Yeah. And, uh, um, out of that came the guitar, acoustic guitar amp, because people were buying that for acoustic, acoustic guitar because it's so clear, clear as a bell. And uh, the other thing the briefcase has is it can work on battery power. It's got an internal rechargeable battery, and you can even plug it into your cigar lighter in, in your, in your <laughs> RV or something and, and, and play like that too, you know. So now, it's, in, in a world full of neo Dimian speakers, the big neo trend. What made you go with ceramic magnets for this well, particular? Well, again, you got to look at the history of the company. We didn't introduce neo Dimian for about five years, and uh, the reason for that was uh, I was I was fully aware of neo Dimian. I mean, I, I was looking at neo Dimian speakers, you know, 20 years ago uh, when I was uh, chief designer at Boston Acoustics. Um, the thing is. I wanted to get the neodymium right. It took five years to get it right. But so the ceramic was already out, and that, that took 10 years to develop that driver. And uh, you know, it's, it's, it just works great. And when you, when you only have two, you're not really concerned about weight. If you've got like 16 in a cabinet, and you're saving you know, two mm. pounds per driver, that's 32 mm. pound weight. But when it's only two drivers, you're only going to save you know, four pound weight. Mm -hmm. Unreal. Well, can we uh, maybe get a quick demonstration here? We're, like I said, we're here with Larry Kimpel, and we just happen to have a, a suitcase, uh, suitcase, briefcase, briefcase model here. So, uh, Larry, if you could give us a quick demonstration. Okay. I'm going to play um, some chordal things. Cool. Just so you guys get the idea of the, you guys, they know what it sounds like. Um, the, the, the overtone, beautiful overtones, beautiful um, fullness of sound that this, uh, this uh, amp has. Now, now uh, the briefcase is celebrating its what its twelfth year anniversary. Yes, it's been now nice. since then, have there been any sort of you know uh, advancements in, in the whole design or you know upgrades on on, on the briefcase at all? Yeah, uh, I mean, I gave it a whole new facelift. Everything has been changed. Oh, yeah. Let's let's take a look at this one here. We got which. Uh, well, well, first of all, right, it's looking pretty. But, I just happen to have one. Uh, that's Sunburst Sapili for all you wood lovers out there. And uh, this is the limited signature version, 
the, the new briefcase is called the Ultimate. Okay, so we have really now three briefcase models. We've got the original, which is phased, phasing out now, and we've got one replacing it called the Classic. Then we have the briefcase Ultimate and then the briefcase Ultimate Signature. Now, is there a difference in the wattage? Oh, yeah. They're all gone up in power. Oh. Uh, the, 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 the new Classic briefcase is, is probably another 25 watts more power than the original uh, using Class D amplifier, so it's, uh, we're able to get more power out of it. Mm -hmm. And uh, this is, is, is uh, with, with two cabinets, it's 200 watts. So I noticed that different from the older briefcase, there's a speaker out on these. Yeah, there's a speaker out and a lot of other things too. Let me oh, show cool. you. See, like if you look at the back, it looks like your, your grandma's old radio or something. <laughs> this here <laughs> is, is uh, what we call a rectangular auxiliary low frequency radiator. What that basically is, is a, is a square or rectangular diaphragm that is pneumatically coupled to the two drivers at the front and it augments the very low frequencies, so it gives the illusion that it's, go, it's going down really low, like it's like a, like a 15 or an 18, but it's got the speed and the transparency of the small driver. So uh, we're able to get this really rich, deep, organic, low frequency by using this technology. And uh, it, it's, it's more expensive to make, obviously, by making this and it's having a vent on the back, you know. Mm -hmm. But it's, uh, it, it really functions a lot better. Uh, on the, uh, the difference is when you hear this, you know, this already super clear, the, the, the standard briefcase. Right. Mm -hmm. This is this is like uh, your, uh, if that's a Mercedes Benz, this is a Mercedes Benz AMG. You know? <laughs> <laughs> wow, wow. Yeah. Unreal. Same, same five band EQ, mm -hmm. same optical compressor limiter. Oh, nice. DI on the back, and, and you said it's got the extension speaker oh, here. Nice, yeah. uh, these, by the way, are uh, 12 volt. This, this is a, a 12 volt uh, rails for, mm -hmm. for the battery that's on the inside. Sure. And that'll also work with the PB300, the, the, the powered cab? Yeah, it'll work with any, any of the powered cabinets. And, um, you know, if you had a, an extension speaker like a, our C4, which is our mm. smallest, most potent little cabinet we, we do, mm. it, it, it'll drive that really nicely. You know, it's just a great, great sounding rig. While we're on the subject of uh, new products from PJB for 2014, I just happen to have a big head on me. <laughs> Phil, could you? Uh... Hey, how about that? <laughs> it's a big head. <laughs> We're not coming out. <laughs> um, could you elaborate on the big head for us? <laughs> yeah. Well, well, this, this here is is is, is uh, really um, we, we've got a, a, a unit called the, the base buddy. And the bass buddy is a, is a really good little practice thing when you put like your, 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 your smartphone, iPhone, with yeah. your tracks yeah, yeah, in. Yeah, yeah, you want to practice, you know, quiet, and, you know, not disturb neighbors, use the headphones. Mm -hmm. This is just really like a stripped down one of those. It's, it's, a, it's got a, 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 a gain control and a level control. Um, the level control, you know, controls the, um, actually, the auxiliary, this is the two inputs here. This is your, your bass input or instrument. This is uh, for your phone or drum machine mm -hmm. or something like that. Um, now, this doesn't have a volume control mm -hmm. because it doesn't need it. You, you've got, mm -hmm. got it on your phone. Yeah. So I want to save all the controls for... And where do the batteries go? It's inside. It's, it's rechargeable. Whoa. No more... Go big No head. more 9-volt batteries. No more 9-volt batteries. Um, Think it of the best. charges up with a, a phone charger. Fantastic. On the back, micro USB, but this here also is a digital out. So if you want to record, uh, like Pro Tools or something, yeah. you've got a digital out coming from from your analog source from the oh, base. Cool. Um, these are dual concentric controls. So one is the volume control, the other is the input level. You know, you have active, passive, bass, and the other is it's these are a, a very selective uh, two two band EQ. And they're different Q, one, one is treble, one is bass, but they're, they're designed specifically for a whole range of four or five string or six string basses. So the, 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 the treble's got a wider Q and the bass has got a more controlled, wow. tighter EQ. You don't want it to sound muddy when you turn the bass up. So it's got a real rich, deep 
low frequency fundamental, but when you turn it to travel, it will just make the instrument more lively and brighter. Mm -hmm. Yeah. More great stuff for 2014. All, uh, all machine. It comes with a little iPhone look-alike uh, box. box. <laughs> yeah. Unbelievable. Okay, if you folks at home need more information about the briefcase or the new big head, you can find us at www.philjonespuresound.com. I'm Michael Albronda. It's Phil Jones, Larry Compel. Larry, if you could play us out for the briefcase. Sure. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you.